Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of uh, Learning with Rich. Alright, so for our continuation for our timeline or exercise, so what we are going to do is we are going to adjust the simulation that we are working on. So let's say for example the video or the simulation may be too fast or too slow. So there's a chance you want to show it daily instead of weekly. All right, so it's up to you. So also, uh, tells you what the name of the task is that's running in the upper left. So as you can see from here, you can modify this also. So I'm going to show you that. Okay. So the objective of this um, uh, lesson is to control the speed, to control the time frame, and the reporting of the actual simulation. Okay. So to do that, so... Let's say, for example, you go to the simulate, and this is what I'm talking about. So there's a settings here. So if I'm going to select this one, okay, so this is what I'm talking about. All right, this is the simulating settings wherein you can modify here the simulation settings, okay? So let's say, for example, the interval size, uh, 5%, you can modify that. Okay, so you can also change the playback duration. So let's say, for example, it's too fast. Let's say, for example, it's too slow. So what you can do, you can adjust it. So let's say I'm going to make this uh, 25. And for the overlay text, this is actually the one that you're uh, uh, seeing at the upper left here. Okay, so our overlay text is what's showing here. So if you want to be a little bit uh, more descriptive, so you can click the edit here. Okay. And then you can select extras. Just click that one. Okay. So you can select, let's say, for example, number of days since start, number of weeks since start, percent sign. Okay, so let's say I uh, select this one. So you see there's the day. Okay, and then after that, you can select here, okay. All right, then after that, again, you can select here, okay. All right. So if I'm now going to play this one, so there's the day. Okay, and the uh, length of this is 20 seconds. Okay, so that is what will uh, happen for this one. Now, after that, <clears throat> okay, so after uh, setting up the simulation of your project, the next thing that you can do now is to export. Okay, so let's say, for example, your client doesn't have the uh, Navisworks in their computer. Okay, so... They would never possibly open Navis work and use the uh, simulation feature. Okay, what you can do is you can actually export this movie to a, a video file for others to see it, or you can put it in the pre uh, presentation if you desired. Okay, so since the animation or the simulation is already co created, so let us try now to export this one. So from the simulate tab. This is the one that I'm talking about here. So export animation. So it shows the export animation window where uh, you can export the simulation as an AVA file or a sequence of images. So you can also save this as a sequence of images. So let's say I'm going to select this one. Okay, so let us go ahead and check out our animation export dialog box. Okay. So as you can see for the source, that is our current animation. So you can click that one. And then you can select, <clears throat> let's say I want to base my source to the timeline or simulation. Timeline or current animator scene. Okay. Sorry, it's up to you. But for this one, so I'm just going to select uh, current animation for this one. Okay. So current animation. And then after that, you can also modify the renderer here. 
So instead of current animation, so let's say I want to follow the timeliner here. So I'm going to select the timeliner simulation. And then for the renderer, you can select Autodesk, renderer, or you can also select the viewport. Okay. So I'm just going to select the uh, viewport here instead of the Autodesk. And then for the outputs, okay, so it's up to you. So let's say you want to select AVI. Okay, so I'm going to select the avi here so you can also save it as a jpeg png and bitmap uh, bitmap okay so i select the uh, avi okay and then you can specify here the settings you can also check out the options here so i'm going to use a uh, full frames and compress so the size i'm going to keep explicit at the wide and the height that i have now so i'm just gonna use this one Okay, all right, so after that, you are now ready to go. So I'm now going to select your OK. And then let me just save it as an AVI file. Then I'm going to save it. Okay, so we just need to wait while our model is being rendered. So that's it. I think it's already finished rendering. Okay, so let me just uh, go ahead and check out. Where did I save this one? So let me just, uh, just give me a moment. Manage samples. Uh -huh. Exercise files. And then the Revit. Oops. All right. And this works. Okay. So this is the one that I'm talking about. Where is that? Where did I save it? Just give me a moment. Let me just take a look. Where did I save it? Timeliner. Oh, okay, so it's inside the timeliner folder. Timeliner. exercises files and timeliner okay so this one okay this is the one timeliner so open up yep i'll use that one and then i select here okay so this is the one that i'm talking about okay of course you can also change this the resolution so that the presentation will uh gonna show nicely it just so happened i just used the the default settings but you can always modify that one okay you can always modify the export animation settings okay so you can change it from here all right so once again hopefully this video has been uh, helpful to you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright? So, once again, this is Rich. Have a nice day.